Hello and thank you for joining us today. As we are talking about the writing on the wall, we are talking about the evidence that indicates that we are in the end times. In the last video, we discussed the Strong's numbers and what they were. The Strong's numbers are an index. So you have an index of the Old Testament and an index of the New Testament. So what James Strong and his team did is they alphabetized all the root words in the Bible, all the root words in the Old Testament alphabetized and then numbered so you could look them up the all the all the root words in the new testament the greek words alphabetized and then numbered so that you could easily look them up it's as if you alphabetized all the words in this book and then alphabetized all the words in this book these books are not connected but if you alphabetized them you'd have two lists and in that list there would be a number one there would be also be a number one in this book so these would match up but these two words that are numbered one in this case are not connected they would have a number two a number three and so on they would have a number 200 i'm sure there's 200 words in here they would have a number 200 and then they would have a number 200 but these words should not be connected because they're from two separate books just an alphabetized list that's all that's what james strong did he made an alphabetized list of all the all the words the root words in the bible so you have two lists an h list and a G list. The G is for the Greek New Testament. The H list is for the Old Testament, which is written in Hebrew and in Aramaic. And we see that that is the writing on the wall. God has said, God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. And we see that the word numbered shares that number, 4483, with the word spoken. This is, that word spoken is God speaking through his prophets. So this word spoken the word of God the word of God being poured forth through his prophets and that is what later became the Bible that we have as the ages went on that became the Bible and that Bible is numbered as we just said with Strong's number and God said he has numbered or th this this verse here connects the word numbered 4483 with the word spoken so these two things are connected, these ideas. Now, if you move forward, we looked at what it said is the problem here. Thou art weighed in the balances and are found wanting. We saw that word wanting is numbered 2627 with the word cataclysmoth, cataclysmos, inundation, flood, specifically the flood of Noah, which it compares to the last days. And that is what we see around us today. We are flooded, flooded with electromagnetic waves, flooded with radio, Wi-Fi, microwaves all these things have flooded the land and they is all around us and we saw that in the word of god in the numbering in the writing on the wall he numbered chashmal the word for electricity the word for electricity today the word for electricity today is chashmal and it the hebrew word and it it occurs in the bible where it's translated amber 2830 is the number and that word is numbered with raging wave and we said that although this should not be this should not have any 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 significance at all it does seem to point to electricity it does seem to point to this raging wave our technology once you put once you put our technology into the picture here th these verses just open up that is the key it opens this up the raging waves of the sea they are like the raging Wi-Fi waves, the raging waves. And we said that even that is numbered. Whereas the raging G66 is numbered with meadow of waters. Raging waves. What kind of waves? From a meadow of waters, a field of waters. And we saw the word waves itself. Kaima, wave. G2949 is numbered with the word tapuk, which means span. It's, it's translated span long in the figure of speech and where it's used, but it is a span, a distance to extend, to spread out. That is the, from the word that it comes from. It is a length, a span, and this is just another one, another piece of the writing on the wall that shows that it's the technology that is being pointed out here. It is the technology that is the key to understanding these, because once you put that in, it opens up. And we see even more as we keep going down, and we will. We saw the vine, their vine of the vine of Sodom and the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes, grapes of gall, their clusters bitter. This is the picture that we are looking at. The vine of Sodom is the electrical grid, the electrical system, the physical wiring, and the fields of Gomorrah are the Wi-Fi signals that are made through that. And we saw that even in the writing on the wall for the word Gomorrah, the Greek word Gomorrah, G1116, is numbered with the Hebrew word Bama, which is translated heights, high place. It is translated waves one time, even translated waves. You can't miss this as it keeps pointing out to it. The vine of Sodom 
and the fields of Gomorrah, the fields of Gomorrah are, are numbered with waves. And when we see the first usage of the word Bama, and I will destroy your high places and cut down your images. That is connected to images. So the high places in this verse are connected to images. And that is what we use these radio waves for now. That is what we use to transmit our data. Much of it images. That is what we have. The writing is on the wall and continues. Even the 400 year prophecy has said that it would be like Jonathan Jambres in the last days. And in Jonathan Jambres' time period, there was a 400 year period before they came onto the scene in Pharaoh's court and pushed back against Moses 400 years before that. And we see the 400 year pattern again, 1492 to 1892 before the world's Columbian exposition where the electrical wizards and the wizard of Menlo Park put on a show displaying citywide electricity for all the people of the world at the Chicago World's Fair, 1893 it was after 1892 just like it said it would be in the Bible. And we see this pattern again and again, and they are wizards, and what did they create? This one, this is Nikola Tesla. He created the AC motor, the AC motor that powers our grid. All these factories, these dams, these, these coal burning plants are burning things to spin a generator, to spin an AC motor that he invented that he invented in 1888, patented 1888. Now look at this, our grid, our divine, the vine of the last days that opposes the truth is all around us. We are the branches in it. The fruit on the end of it is poison fruit, IOS. That is not what God intended. What God intends is that we stay with Christ we are to abide in the truth. And if you see here in this verse, it says, for I am jealous over you with the godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband that I may present you a chaste virgin to Christ. We are supposed to be presented to Christ. And yet in these days, the people of these days have built their own vine for their vine of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah, their grapes, grapes of gall, their clusters bitter. That is what they have built. And instead of going to Christ, the people of the last days have attached themselves and become the branches in the vine of their own making, their vine, the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. And as we see all these things, these waves, the houses we live in completely surrounded by the wires, by the grid, consumed by the vine. And we see the crosses on the side of the road as we drive by holding up the vine. We see all this with our eyes. We should know what it is. And just in case you didn't know what it is, God left you a clue, the writing on the wall. As we see here, all this grid, this grid is connected. If you follow the wires back, there is a machine on the end of it. The machine that Nikola Tesla invented, the machine that is the AC motor. And it, as we said, God wants us to be with him and not be with or attached to the vine of Sodom. So what is that? That is adultery. Our generation has committed adultery and left the truth, left the vine, the true vine, and the entire world, the entire generation has become the branches in the false vine. Committed adultery, that's what we've done. And when we see the writing on the wall concerning that, when we see what it is, it is amazing. We look at the patent, Nikola Tesla, patented May 1st, 1888. And we see that date there, May 1st, 1888. The writing is on the wall. And when we look at it, mini, mini, tekel, uppersin, mini, God hath numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Tekel, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. Look at this, 1888. H, 1888, this kingdom is numbered. Lo, that is the word. That's the Aramaic Hebrew word, Aramaic word. Behold, lo, even as, like as, that is what that word means. Behold, lo, even o, oh, even, even as, like as, like as what? What is the AC motor, the generator that powers the whole grid, that powers the vine of the last days. What is it? What is God trying to get our attention about? G1888, that word, autophoros, that word means caught in the very act. 
that word means caught in the very act and is translated in the very act, it only occurs one time, one single time in the Bible. G, 1888, what have, what are we caught in the very act of? That verse, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken in adultery in the very act. I mean, what more do we want? The writing on the wall is stacking up to heaven. What do we need? Do we need God to come down and show us himself? I think that's what this is. The writing on the wall is for our generation. The writing is on the wall is a warning to us. The writing on the wall is like the writing on the wall in Babylon. The writing on the wall in Babylon was immediately before it fell. The writing is on the wall for our generation. Our generation, the return of the Lord is at hand. We need to pay attention to these things. We need to see the writing on the wall and realize what it is. All these things don't just stack up in happenstance and chance. God is directing this. God is showing us. God is has put the writing on the wall. He has made the interpretation. We can see it with our eyes. Thank you for joining this video. We'll go on to another video very soon. You can see all my videos on signofire.com, yeshuaiscoming.com, and of course, this YouTube channel. Uh, sorry it took so long. Thank you.